you have two options. One being to listen to this list and find a fragrance that is best suited for you, or two, spend your days kind of wastelessly on YouTube, constantly trying to find something that will impress her. To make sure that doesn't happen, I'm gonna to need to watch this video, take notes if you need to, and hit that subscribe button down below. But on that note, let's get into it. And number 10 on this list is gonna to go to a fragrance that is one of the easiest ones on this entire list for you to wear. The reason why it is at number 10 right now is because it is such a popular fragrance that the girl you're trying to impress might say you smell like her ex-boyfriend, which has happened to me on, on a few occasions. Number 10 is gonna to go to Dior Sauvage EDP. So like I said, this is a very, very easy fragrance to wear. Again, it's not the most unique and it is worn pretty heavily right now. Some say that this was designed simply to get compliments from women, which I can argue with that because it works. For me, what I get with this is gonna be a load of citruses and pepper along with ambroxan. Ambroxan is gonna be a note that's gonna basically make this stick out. It's gonna make it reach. But this fragrance is pretty much known for it being an ambroxan style heavy fragrance. This is one that you can go easy on the trigger with, guys. It's not one that you wanna spray heavily. Again, guys, that's the Orsa Vaz. It's gonna have you smelling great, but you're not gonna be very unique. Number nine on this list is gonna be for the guy that doesn't necessarily own any fragrances. He just kinda wants something kind of smart reach, blue, maybe aquatic style fragrance. Plus, to me, being able to say that you're out wearing Versace is kind of impressive, I think. It might make for a braggable fact. Number nine is going to be one of the best blues that I have in my entire collection. It's going to go to Versace Pour Homme. And one thing to know about this, guys, it is one of the best blues that you can put on your skin. It is just so nice. It's so clean. It's the fresh out of the shower kind of clean. That has a decent amount of longevity as long as you aren't in the high, high heat. It has some of the best performance when it comes to blue fragrance. This is so nice. The reason why it is in everyone's collection. And guys, if all you want is something that is easy, that smells nice, here you go. And is relatively affordable as well. That is Versace Pour Homme. The next ones on this list are gonna have a little more character to them. They're gonna have a little more oomph behind them. They're gonna have stuff that's gonna make more of a statement when you come to a room. Stuff that's gonna be a little bit harder to wear than your Versace Pour Homme and your Dior Sauvage. Number eight is gonna be a fragrance that I would say would be best suited for winter, but if you're in a cool spring night, this would be a banger as well. It definitely has a scent profile to it that is much more depth, much more deeper, and just much more bolder than these uh, previous two. It's one that has a bit more warmth behind it. It's definitely gonna be something that you're gonna wear like inside if it is during the summer. Not something that you're gonna wanna wear out in high heat and kind of like walking around the beach kind of date. No, don't go with this. But in Close Encounters, guys, absolute gem. Number eight is gonna go to Stronger With You by Poirot Romani. So what you're gonna primarily get with the Strong With You by Emporio Armani is gonna be your cardamom, your vanilla, your chestnut. Like I said, it's much more of like a winter style fragrance. It's not gonna be one that you're gonna wanna wear in the high heat, but Close Encounters inside, yeah, easy one to wear. This will have whatever girl you boot up next to thinking you smell delicious. Damn guys, it's good. It's a good one. Again guys, that is Stronger With You by Emporio Armani. Now next on this list is gonna be a fragrance that you can go out single and you'll leave with a girl, guaranteed. It has the best sillage of any fragrance I think that I have in my collection. In the air, you get Fruit Loops. On your skin, you get Woods. It's pretty simple to break it down like that, but that's how, kind of how it is. Seven is going to go to Cedrat Boise by Mancera. Now, I can't really speak for much other Mancera fragrances, but this right here lasts me all day long. This is like a 10-hour fragrance, guys. This is one that smells fantastic coming off the skin. It has a similar vibe to Aventus, but it's not so close to it that I'll say that it's like a clone or anything like that. It does its own thing. It has its own personality to it, its own character to it and the performance on this is beast mode. This is one that will have people chasing you around asking what you're wearing. And it lasts all day. This is one that you throw in the morning, good to go. Again guys, that is Cedrat Boise by Mancera. Next fragrance on this list has the infamous top note that is pineapple, but it is not Creventus. It has, it's pineapple is top note. It has a very pulling in, you know, initial opening, but then it dries down to something that is much more warm, much more of a close encounter kind of scent. It's also gonna be much more of a colder weather kind of scent. It can be worn in the summer, but I personally think it'd be much better and much more appropriate worn in the colder weather. It's a fragrance that in the first hour of you wearing it, it's gonna reach out to whoever it is that you're with that you're trying to impress, and they're gonna smell, and they're gonna know that you smell nice. Number six is gonna go to Coach Platinum. So guys, if you aren't aware, this is one of three of the Coach from Men's that have been released. Coach Platinum's gonna be one that's gonna have a really nice, fruity, warm kind of opening, and that warmness kind of takes over the, the fruitiness and the dry down. But again, guys, this is one that's gonna sit pretty close to the skin after a while, but it's gonna smell very, very nice when it does. Again, guys, that is Coach Platinum. Now, next, let's say that you're going out to a club somewhere, whenever the clubs open back up, and you need to make a statement. You need to be known that you're in there. This is gonna be the older brother of its what it's a flanker of. It's more developed, it smells better, it has better performance, in my opinion. It is a flanker to the very well-known Versace Eros. That is Versace Eros Flame. Why do I recommend this over the original Versace Eros? It just smells better. It has an orange of the opening that is much more inviting and much just better scent, in my opinion. 
And guys, in terms of the performance and projection, this is going to be one that's going to be a lot like the, the uh, Dior Sauvage in terms of you don't need to go heavy with this one. You spray one, two, three sprays, you're good to go. Again, guys, for the clubbing scent, I'm going to go with Versace Arrows Flame. Now, let's say you're trying to impress your coworker, your cute receptionist, or wherever she may be. This one should do it. Checked out quite like the Versace Arrows Flame or the Dior Sauvage, but the DNA of this is well known and it works. It's more of a grown up kind of vibe, you know what I mean? Without being like an aged old man scent. It's very high quality and it's very well blended. Four is going to go to Bleu de Chanel Parfum. So with this, there's the EDT, the EDP, and the Parfum. This is one that I recommend. It is higher quality, it lasts longer, it smells better. The only downside of this is that it's going to cost more. But in my opinion, you're paying for a better scent with this one. Again guys, that is Bleu de Chanel Parfum. Now these next three on this list are going to be ones that you can wear anytime and impress people that are around you. These three are compliment magnets, they're easy to wear, and they're inviting. Number three is going to go to YSL Eau Fresh. Now, if the Versace Pour Homme is not kind of inviting to you, this is basically a fresh fragrance like that is, but with more of an oomph behind it. There's more character and personality in this than there is in that. Which is why I go for this over that, because there's more personality and more character. Again, guys, that is YSL Y Eau Fresh. Now, the last two on this list are two that are guaranteed, without a doubt. If I'm wrong, come back to this video and tell me I'm wrong, but I won't be wrong. These two are great. They are the best. Yes, they are designer, but they work. Two is going to be L'Homme Ultime by YSL. This is going to be a fresh, spicy fragrance that has a bunch of ginger in the opening that is very, very inviting. I would tell you guys some stories about this, but it probably would get my, my channel demonetized. Again, guys, that is L'Homme Ultime by YSL. Number one on this list has had girls just do stupid things. Girls that are married do stupid things. Just girls that, you know what, believe it or that. Number one is going to be Aqua de Joe Profumo. If you're out in the store and you see this, the Profondo and the original, don't just don't even mess with other ones, guys. Either this one or the Absolute, those two. But this one right here has a bit of an edge over that one in terms of it being more versatile than those are. Again, guys, that is Aqua de Joe Profumo. I hope this video has been informative and somewhat entertaining. If it has been, do not forget to hit the like down below. Guys, like I always say, keep it gent and love your scent, and I'll see you all next time. Most of you that made it through this list probably are well aware of what I'm about to say. You just got 10 options for either your next or your first cologne or fragrance pickup. If you're gonna want to impress her, you gotta do more than that, man. You're gonna have to, you know, shower, you're gonna have to work out, you're gonna have to do a lot of things before you go out and buy these colognes. Simply owning a fragrance isn't gonna impress anyone. It's, a, it's as impressive as showering. It's not gonna be such a wow factor to somebody. But if you own these fragrances on top of grooming, on top of, you know, taking care of yourself, on top of, you know, just bettering yourself all around, it is a definite plus. Just because you can throw on your Dior Sauvage, and yes, you might get complimented, but she will not be impressed with you unless you're take, taking care of yourself, unless you're fit, unless you're working out and, do, and doing quite a number of things before you throw on that cologne. Now, the cologne will help, but like I said, there's a lot more that goes into it than just wearing the cologne. For example, if you're out and you're wearing a white t-shirt that's wrinkled up and you have like a mustard stain on yourself, no girl's gonna look at you twice. That's just not how that works. Yes, the cologne will help, but again, it's not the end all be all. Like with me, if I just stopped working out, if I just let this grow out all funny, I would have a pretty hard-pressed time uh, trying to impress anybody. Now, my main point here is that for you to go out and to impress somebody, you're going to have to build your own self-confidence. You're going to need to have a bit of confidence coming from yourself. That's not going to be supplied via compliments or via you know people thinking that you're attractive. It's going to take building up your own self-worth and being valuable to yourself. And once you know your own personal value, then you can start kind of pushing out the confidence that's, that's necessary to make yourself more attractive. The more confident that you are in your decisions, the more confident you are in your actions, the more attractive you will be. It doesn't necessarily come from fragrances. But guys, that is that. Like I said, keep it gent, love your scent, and I'll see you all next time.